Welcome back, Limit Break TCG. Uh, it's Corey here, bringing you another Digimon deck profile. Um, sorry, we've been, I've, or at least I've been gone for so long. Um, nothing, uh, you know, times just kind of eluded me. You know, it's around Christmas time, uh, trying to work as much as I can and, uh, you know, catch the house up and stuff like that. But uh, we're here now with a Examon uh, EX3 Examon deck profile. Um, this deck is a lot of fun. It has a lot of search, but it can still brick. But, uh, you know, the bricking, the percentage of bricking is kind of low, to be honest with you. There's so much search in this deck. And then it's only going to get better when... Um, uh, not not really the searching, but the deck's gonna get a little bit better whenever we get uh, BT11 and we get that new um, Draco Mon rookie. You know, it'll give us another Draco Mon to use because right now we only have so many we can use. But anyway, this is Examon. It's a super fun deck, honestly. In the whole format right now, um, as far as Digimon goes, there's only three decks that really got me excited right now. Um, Skull Knight Mon, uh, Dark, Dark Knight Mon is one of them. Uh, super fun deck. I love that deck so much. Um, and then second would be this. Or tied with the Dragon deck. Um, which I will do a profile on that also. Um, but Examon is super fun. And honestly, I've, I've been having a lot of fun playing this deck. It's super, super, super fun. Um, but let me stop telling you how fun it is. Let me just kind of dive in and show you, you know, how fun it is. So our babies of choice, we play four of the baby demons uh, from EX3. That has the effect uh, all turns once per turn. When a Digimon with Drummon or Examon in its name becomes unsuspended, this Digimon gets 1k for the turn. And then our fifth baby is another baby demon from level uh, from set 10 when attacking if your opponent has two or more digimon in play uh draw a card so um that's the babies moving on to the rookies we play four of the starter deck all force draco mon um on play reveal the top three cards add a dramon a drum on and its name among them to your hand, which is like 85% of the deck. Um, other than um, Examon and, you know, our options and stuff like that. Um, and then place the remaining at the bottom. So this also helps us. This helps us get any of our Drummonds. Um, any of our level 4s, 5s, or 6s. Because they're all Drummonds. Um, so this helps us see it a little quicker if we have to on play. And then next, we have four of the EX3 Draco Mons. It evolves uh, for one on any other rookie, on any other baby, um, but free on a baby Demon. That's why we play the baby Demons. And then it has an on play ability reveal the top four, add one green or blue card with Drummon in its name, and one card with Examon in its name to your hand, place the rest at the bottom. And then it has an inheritable, uh, same as the baby uh, that we're running four of. When one of your Digimon with Examon or Drummon becomes suspended, uh, gains 1k. So it becomes suspended, it gets 1k. And the baby says if it becomes unsuspended, it gets another 1k. So that's 2k when you do that. Uh, and then our last babies, which the new Dracomon from set 11 will take the place of these. Uh, but for now, this is the ones we're running. Um, we're running two of the EX1 Vmons and two, let me show y'all, Madoki Betas. Madoki Beta is our floodgate, stops memory gain on, on our opponent, uh, other than Tamers. And then Vmon, when the Zijimon becomes unsuspended during your main phase, gain one memory. And we do a lot of that, so it's going to gain us a memory when we do it. But like I said, these will be replaced with the new Draco Mon uh, from set 11 once it comes out. And then our level fours, play four of the green Cordramon. 
Uh, Evo for three, if it's on any of our other rookies that aren't uh, Dracomon. But Evo is for two on a Dracomon. It has Blocker, and then as an inheritable, if it has Drummon or Examon in its name, it gains, blo it gains Blocker. Next, we have two, I mean four, man, uh, four of the Cordramon also evolves for three, unless it's on a Dracomon, then it evolves for two. Uh, it has Evade, and then the Inheritable is all turns, if it has Draymon or Examon in its name, it gains Evade. Now, Evade is, if the Digimon would be deleted, you may suspend the Digimon to prevent it. So, that does count, that counts for uh, deletion effects. Um, reduction, it still would kill it. Because a Digimon can't live on the field with zero DP. So, but deletion effects or battle, uh, you could you could uh, tap it for evade. So, for example, if it's like for, if it's unsuspended, they can they can attack you. Um, actives, they can attack unsuspended Digimon. Then you could just tap it for the evade. Now, naturally, so when you tap it for the evade. You're welcoming another attack to kill it, but it's you know it gets rid of one of their attacks if you need. Um, but other than that, you know if it would be deleted, evade you t you suspend it. And then our last uh, level four is another card from the O Force starter deck. Four of the Cordramon that has evolved to play for six uh, security at the end of the battle. Play this card without paying its memory costs. And then on play you draw two cards. So this is really nice to see from life. You play it, draw two cards, uh, and then it's a drum on as well. So that's our level fours. Moving on to our level fives. Level fives, plain and simple. We're playing four fours. Uh, four of the ground drum on. Uh, evolve for four, evolve for three on top of a... Cordramon, it has blocker, and then your turn. If Examon is in your hand, so it says in parentheses Examon, which means Examon needs to be in your hand. If Examon is in your hand, you may treat this as a level six during DNA Digi Evolution. And then it has end of turn, you may do DNA Digi Evolve into one of your other Drummon with another Drummon. Uh, Without paying its costs. Well, for its did you need to default? For its did you need to default? And then all turns if it has drum on or XM on gain blocker. And then next we have the four of wing drum on. Uh, honestly, it's copy paste. It's just instead of blocker, it gives evade. Um, evolves for two and a core drum on has evade. If Examon's in your hand, you can treat it as a level 6 during DNA Digi Evolution. You may, in the end of turn, you may DNA Digi Evolve this Digimon into one of your other Digimon with Drummon in its name. So, yeah, all, this is copy paste. And then the uh, inheritable is it has evade all turns if it has Drummon or Examon. So, naturally, uh, to kind of show y'all how it works, um, if y'all have this and then you go and play that. And you have an Examon in your hand. Um, basically, you'll just trick them as level sixes and throw the Examon on top. So, which is actually why we play a little bit less at level sixes, uh, which I'll show you guys. Uh, you know, typically you'd want to play like, I don't know, eight, seven, or eight. Uh, we get by with six because our level fives also count as level uh, sixes if we have Examon in our hand. We play three Break Jamon. Uh, Break Jamon evolves for four, evolves for three on a Ground Jamon or a Wing Jamon. All turns, when this Digimon becomes suspended, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Come on, focus. I really need to set up that new camera. Okay. Um, then all turns, when one of your Digimon with Drummon or Examon in its name deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, trash the top card of your opponent's security stack. And then the inheritable is the same thing. Uh, whenever a Digivolt... Whenever a Drummon or Examon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, uh, trash top card, you suppose, security stack. So, I'm going to try to show you all the combo uh, with that um, in a little bit. 
But moving on for now, uh, we have three of the Slayer Dramon. Um, evolves for four, evolves for three on a Wing Dramon or Ground Dramon. All turns, once per turn, you may suspend this Digimon. When this Digimon becomes suspended, you may unsuspend it. And then active main, uh, opponent's main phase. Start over your opponent's main phase. You may suspend this Digimon to force, uh, with, or you may for suspend one of your Digimon with Drummon or Examon in its name to force your opponent to attack. Um, it's not attacking the card. It's attacking you. You just make them attack, and they can still choose what they attack. You don't choose the attack. They attack you, and you know, you're know you just able to block or do whatever you want to get rid of it. So, moving on, putting this aside just to kind of tell you guys the combo uh, later on. And then we have four of the Examon. This is the alt art. It's the only ones I was able to get. Um, but honestly, the art's pretty cool, so I mean, I'll, I'll live with it. It ain't, it ain't hurting me none. Um, uh, DNA Digi-Evolution. Digi-Evolution. Uh, zero with a level six green, level six blue. Um, DNA, when, D, when Digi-Evolving, you may place one green or blue Digimon with Drummon in its name from your hand under this Digimon at the bottom of its Digi-Evolution cards. When DNA Digi-Evolving, you may play one blue or green Digimon with Drummon and its name and 12,000 12, DP or less from your hand without paying its cost. All turns, when this Digimon becomes suspended, unsuspended, and suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So the combo goes like this. Um, let's say you DNA Digivolve, and then we, you gotta put the green first, so we'll put the green and then the, that. And then let's say it was stacked. Um, I'll just put this just to kind of like, because we don't need a whole stack. I'm just trying to show y'all something uh, real quick. So let's say this is just part of your stack, okay? Um, so, and then you'll play like that. You, you, you DNA did evolve. Let's say you put a ground Dramon underneath it from your hand and you play a Slayer Dramon, okay? So whenever you pass your turn, or even if it's still your turn, you know, this has blocker as an inheritable. So when they attack you and you block, now naturally Examon's effect will happen. It'll restand and you can suspend something. Um, but since it's taking the block, if it kills your opponent's attacking Digimon, because you know you have a higher DP, Breakmon's effect will trigger and they will have to trash that top security. So this is kind of the setup to make them, like, come at me, bro, you know? And, you know, start of their main phase, you'll spin this um, to make them attack you. And then you can just suspend for the block, unsuspend, and then finish Examon's effect. And then now, since they're attacking this, if they're not higher than that 15 or 16 or 17, whatever Examon's at, and they die in battle because you're blocking, then... You know, like, they're going to trash that top security, which is really cool. And then, now, secondly speaking, if you have, if you play a Break Dramon, and, you know, this has Blocker, when they attack you and you block, you have, and then you kill the attacking monster, you have this one going off, and this one going off. So they're going to, you're going to kill their Digimon on their turn, and they're going to have to trash two from their security stack. So y'all see where I'm going with this? This deck is big on making your opponent attack you. Your opponent attack you. And you just punishing them for doing so. You know? This is what this deck's just big on. It doesn't have much removal outside of that. Um, I did add a couple things for removal. Um, but honestly, it's mostly centered around... Uh, forcing your opponent to attack you and then just making them just making them hit a brick wall basically and then you're still doing damage if break Dramon's on the field but that's that combo and that's it for the Digimon moving on we have I'm going to tell y'all a little joke real quick we have Budget Davis 
All right, so I don't have any Davises. Davis was a card that has eluded me because I didn't pick up any 1.5. And, you know, he just kept going up and up and up. And I was just never able to grab him. And, I mean, not to mention I rarely played blue back then. I'm playing a lot of blue now. But I rarely played blue back then. Like, I only recently, maybe within the last two months, whenever I built Imperial Dramon, uh, I recently just picked up, like, the Ice Wall uh, the hammer sparks, Kakaitis breaths, you know, stuff like that. And I was never able to get my hands on any Davises. So this would be Davis, but for now it's budget Davis and it's what we got to run. Now it's not a bad card at all. It starts to set three. So it's a memory tamer. And then opponent's turn when one of your opponent's Digimon attacks one of your blue Digimon, you know, 80% of the deck is blue. So, if I make, you know, if I make them attack my Examon, or if I have a Slayer Dramon, or a Break Dramon, with the Blocker Inheritable, well, not, not Break Dramon, but if I have a Slayer Dramon since it's blue, or an Examon, and it has Blocker, because Examon is green and blue, if they're attacking a blue Digimon, or even if they're attacking a Suspended, um... You know, maybe I went in with a Cordramon level 4. You know, maybe I attacked them and it lived. Um, if they're attacking a blue Digimon of mine, I can suspend this to draw one. You know? So, it's kind of like... I, I make a joke that it's budget Davis, but it's the Davis that keeps on Davising. You know, that's kind of the pun that I make there, if you really want to call it a pun. Um, because as long as they attack your blue Digimon... Or you make them attack your blue Digimon with because you have blocker, you know you'll draw a card. Now Davis's reveal three add one, so you don't get the choice, but you still get to draw one. You know it's still it's still card advantage, um, but it is budget Davis. These would be Davises if I had them. Davis could also add us a blue or green, a blue and a blue and green, so it helps us see like all the deck. Um, and then last is our options. We play one ice wall. Because it's that one. We play two blue memory boosts. Now, why did I go with blue memory boosts if I have some green in the deck as well? Um, more The deck is 80%, maybe 75%. 75% blue, 25% green. Because the only green cards I have that are just green, because blue memory boosts can still add an X amount because it's blue and green. Um, the only only green cards that I have is three break Dramons and then four four of uh, the ground Dramon and the core Dramon. So this adds everything else in the deck really. And then last our removal that's not the making them crash into a brick wall is two Megadeth. Because you know we have we have a lot of blue green around here. We have um, the baby Dracomon, we have Dracomon, he's blue-green, and then we have, okay, we don't have a lot of blue-green, um, but we can have a lot of blue or green, so we have, we'll have, we could have, uh, you know, a Cordramon on the field, and any other blue card, and then we could activate it, or we could have just our Examon, or just our Dracomon, and just activate it, so, I mean, it's not impossible to get, you know, it's just kind of got to set up that blue and green color uh but man this is nice and security when you hit this in security it's just awesome uh but that's our extra removal that's outside of making them attack us um that's all for the deck list hope you guys enjoy it i love it i love how this deck plays um other than the changes that i would make which would be when set 11 comes out these are the new Drum, uh, Draco Mons, and then the other change would be uh, the budget Davises for real Davises. You know, those that's the that's really the only changes I'd make. Other than that, other than that, deck performance fine. Um, but that's the deck. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you change. Uh, subscribe to the channel, please. Let us know what you'd like to see, what you don't like to see. Uh, all that good stuff. Give us some feedback. What would you do differently in the deck? And just, uh, you know, pop in and say hi, man. Just, we, you know, we love talking. We love chatting, back, uh, bouncing ideas of decks off of each other. Um, until next time, remember to break TCG. Peace.